It's Biscars Friday on Thursday. I'm hoping to actually get this uploaded by Thursday. Today we're going to look at our round the corner Biscar punches. This is one of my favorites. Literally it'll go round the corner so I'm going to show you how that's going to work and how you can use it as, to make an embellishment instead of just a border. But I want to show you how the border um, part of it works. Several people get confused when they get toward the end of it. I'm moving my layout out of the way I want to show you in a minute. So I'm going to bring you down here and we're going to get started on going around a corner. I figured the paper would be bright enough. Hopefully you can see. I'm going to stand up and do this. Get a little bit better light. First thing you need to do is I pull mine this way toward me. I'm going to put move my mouse out of the way. There's a ridge. I'm going to hold it very still so you can see. There's a ridge right here. You hear it? And it goes like that all the way down. So bring it to that first ridge. Pull back the first lever away from you. And the one closest to you, that's your corner. Pop it. Pull it back. Put the next one down. And push that one down. Then you just take and move your paper to the next ridge. Stop it. And just punch that punch that's the furthest way. Leave this one back. And then just keep going. This is just so easy right here. And I just want to show you a little secret that at first I got a little bit frustrated on. Now you can see I'm all the way right here. Now there is another ridge at the very end right there. Go ahead and bring it on down to that ridge. Pop it again. And you go, well, I'm out of ridges now. No, there's a pattern down here, just like all good Fiskar punches. And if you will take and fill in that pattern, watch me fill it in. I'm going to go, I'm going to, oh, there it is. I filled it in, and now I can just set it down, and I can punch it. That's over there. Oops, there we go. And make sure we don't punch the wrong thing. And keep punching. Fill it in again. Can you see? Punch it. And note, uh, let me see, I'm going to pull this back. Watch this, this end piece down here as it gets closer. Fill it in again. And punch. I'm going to do one more time now. I'm going to show you where I just punched. And there was this much left. And I'm going to bring it one more. One of the secrets of doing this correctly is that your paper always has to be in one inch increments. You can't do this with a eight and a half by eleven and a half piece of paper. It has to be in one inch increments for it to be able to go around the corner. Um, again, one more last punch on this one furthest away from you. All right, here comes the fun stuff. Just take your paper and turn it. Put it against that first ridge. You got it? Here's your corner punch, the one closest to you. Push down. Flip it back. Take the other one. Flip it down. And then you just move it to the next little ridge there. Little stop. And you just keep going. The, really the secret is just making sure that when you get to the end here that there is a ridge. And then after that you fill in your pattern like you would any of the good Fiskars uh, border punches. And then you just continue to go around your page. What you can do is if you have a 5 by 7 and you want to mat it, you cut it to be a 6 by 8 Then you can cut this down. And what happens is it has this little photo edge here. It's part of the decorations, but you have a photo edge like that. All the way around, you have 4 by 6 Just increase it by 1 inch because it's going to take 1 inch for your decorative look. And then you can just place your photo right in your matting. <clears throat> it's always so great to do um, other things with, but that's just the main piece there I wanted to show you. Um, I'm working on a classroom layout, and I wanted to make embellishments with mine. Let's see if you can see it. I'm going to move this around just a teeny bit. My lighting's not terribly great tonight. Hang on a minute. Let me see. Does that help any? I think it does. Okay, so I haven't got everything down here yet. This is a baby layout for a class I'm teaching. This is baby, and way over here, you can't see it. It's L. O. My O's missing. It's over there somewhere. O V E. 
But what I'm doing, I'm going to let my OVEs fall off, um, is that I'm using my corner punch to make this. It's a darker pink, and then I'm going to back it with a lighter pink, and then I'm going to put it as part of the embellishments on my page. So how do we do that? Well, first thing you do is you take your lighter color and you cut it two inch square. Okay, that's the important thing is to get it two inch square. And pull both back. You're not going to be using this one that's the furthest away from you. You're only going to be using the corner itself. You have your two inch square. I put it up to the ridge just like I would a long sheet of paper. Punch. I'm going to take and turn it like I'm going around the corner. Punch again. You don't really have to punch that hard, but I'm on a table that's giving on me. And when they give, they, it's harder to punch. Again, I turn the corner. And one more time, I'm turning the corner. Bring it against the ridge so that it shows right. Okay. Look. You have a nice design. And you can use all four of your Fiskars uh, around the corner border punches like that to make a really, really nice design on here. And then I'm just going to put three of these wonderful little things. I'm going to put three down the side. Okay? That was a really quick tip, but I've had several people tell me that they were having... Hang on, guys. I'm going to do this thing to you. Ooh, I'm hot tonight. Can you believe it? Ooh. <laughs> Not that kind of hot, but hot tonight. Um, but several people mentioned that they were having troubles once they got to the end, how to continue it through the 12 inches. So I just wanted to show you that and show that you can... Um, you can make the little embellishments yourself. You can even center that with some things. I'm just going to make diamonds down the the edge of it for the class. And I can't show you the finished product when I get finished with all the ribbons and buttons and bows. Um, but if you want to take the class, it'll be at Joann's in Augusta. Uh, but th it's fun. This is fun. I love my um, border punch because you can do so much with it. I have a, a neat motto in life when it comes to my punches and my tools that they're an investment and they better do more than one thing. I better be able to do more than one thing with it or I'm not going to buy it. So it's more than a border punch to me. It's an embellishment maker and you can do all sorts of things with it. Well, I hope you guys are doing really great with All About You and 52. I'm having a blast. I'm a few weeks ahead of you and making my layouts and it's funny, it's uh, thought provoking. I, I'm just amazing myself at, at where I'm going with these questions. Uh, it comes up as a surprise to me. You think that I would have it all planned out, but as I'm thinking and going through it, it really um, challenges me to, to really think what it was like and what it is that I want to say to my kids and to my friends and family that read it, and to you guys because I share it with you as we go. Um, God bless you. I'm talking fast because I want it... Um, I want you guys not to be bored half out of your mind with me tonight. I am pouring sweat. This is terrible. It's South Carolina. It says on my nice little weather bug up here, it is actually 37 degrees out there, but it's hot when I'm sitting here at this computer right now. So God bless you. You guys take care.